Let's get right to our top story. The southern border towns are feeling the full impact of the migrant surge, and Hillary Vaughn is on the ground in Gila Bend, Arizona, with details for us tonight. Hillary. Jackie, Gila Bend's Mayor Chris Riggs tells me tonight he will be declaring a state of emergency for a crisis that he says President Biden has created in his town by dropping off busloads of migrants after Border Patrol held them for the max 72 hours. They're being dumped here with nowhere to go and nothing to eat. The mayor tells me that the federal government chose Gila Bend, a small town of about 2,000, because they thought they had a bus stop. Somebody in Washington got the thought that we have a bus stop here because that's what those migrants were initially told. But they were telling us they were told they could buy a ticket to get on a bus. We don't have a bus. We have a Valley Metro shuttle. So it's like, what are you thinking? The mayor tells me that they do not have the resources to care for these migrants, so he had to borrow two vans to take them an hour away to a shelter in Phoenix. It's not just the resources that are a concern, it's also COVID. These migrants are not being COVID tested before being dropped off here, and the mayor says he calculated if two busloads of migrants get dropped off every week, over the next year to pay for COVID testing, that's going to cost him $600,000. And that is over a third of the city's budget for the entire year. Jackie? Hillary Vaughn for us in Arizona tonight.